Are pedals worth it? Do you need them to be a top sample maker? Or can you just do it with VSTs? Well, in this video, we're gonna find out. Me and Kingfisher are each gonna make a beat using the same sample starter. I'm gonna be using only VSTs. He's gonna be using a bunch of his pedals and we're gonna see who makes the best beat. For the starter, I'm gonna keep it super simple. I wanna make something dark, synthy. I'm gonna use this preset called Cry About It from Technicolor. One thing I want to do just to finish off the starter is reverse it and chop it up a little bit. Let's send it to Kingfisher and see how he starts his sample off. So Loner just sent over this crazy starter that gave me a bunch of inspiration. I'm going to add some counter melodies on top and then let's run them through some of my guitar pedals to see what we can come up with. I ended up looping this pattern in the blooper and then stretching them out and adding some detune with the stability knob. I also ran these stretched out bells through the Thermé pedal to give them a pitch shifting delay effect. So the next thing that I did was add two other key sounds from the Mellotron. I didn't end up using either of these full phrases in the final sample because once I ran them through the mood and the microcosm, it got way too cluttered with the reverbs and delays. I ended up only using the first note of each phrase as a one shot. I added another counter melody with a harp sound from the Mellotron. Now at this point, I knew I was kind of going overboard with the number of layers I was adding to the melody, but I wanted to let all my ideas flow out so that once I ran them all through the guitar pedals, I had plenty of stuff to work with. The thing with guitar pedals is that you never know exactly what's gonna sound good until you start experimenting and trying different combinations of effects. The final layer that I added to this melody was a pad sound just to fill it out a bit more. I gave it some interesting texture by running it through the mood with a really fast delay and added some microcosm as well. Now that I was happy with the way that the loop was sounding, I added a supporting key layer to fill out some of the low frequencies. I also added an LFO tool to give them kind of a rising and falling effect. I felt like the melody was missing something, so I added an ARP to fill out the high end and increase the energy a bit. The final piece that I added was this synth bass that I used during the intro. Now it was time to add some drums. So that's typically my workflow when using guitar pedals to make a beat. As you can see, there can be a lot of trial and error on the way to the final product, but through experimentation, you can come across some pretty unique textures that never would have come about if you had just stayed inside the DAW. With that being said, it's not the most efficient way to process your sounds, so it's up to you whether you see that fitting into your workflow. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna pass it back to Loner now. I wanna start off by processing this starter a little bit more. I wanna add some pedal-like effects to it. I'm sure you guys know that Portal has some really cool textures sounds that you can add. Let's record this into Edison, just leave it running, see what we can get, and then add that on top of what we already have. Some cool sounds in there. Let's just change the preset. Oh, that's nice. Now that is kind of a workflow that you'd associate with pedals, just kind of recording stuff into it, finding parts that you like. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Instantly, so fire. So this, Almost, it's almost percussive, so I want to use it kind of like you were with a drum fill at the end of the loop. We could try and reverse this one. We chop the end part off, maybe. Whoa, yep, that's it. That's the one for sure. Just adding an EQ just to filter out a little bit, make it less present. So let's bring this down by one, two. Let's bring it down by three. That's a super fire basis for our sample. So back in Technicolor, I want to add a counter melody of some sort. Now I'm in augmented strings, I want a string sound. A 
let's bounce this to audio and i'm gonna straight away reverse it again i'm gonna stretch it now going off that i want to change the bell melody that we added I think now I'm going to start adding some drums to it. That classic wheezy clap. Let's try a little bit of a different bounce there. So we're not having the clap hit in the normal place. Next, of course, we need a snare. Now where we're going to get the main bounce from obviously is the hi-hats. And just to finish this off, we're going to have to add a kick, but before that, let's add some perks. And just to finish it all off, let's add this kick. 